Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 3, Lesson 32. We're going to be working with word problems. This time um, our divisors are going to be a little larger, 6, 7, 8, or 9, but these will be one-step word problems. So let's go ahead and go right to one of the most difficult ones in tonight's uh, set of homework. I'm going to do the last one in the set. I'm going to do problem number five. Problem number five asks us, let's see, we'll read it first, part of our read, draw, and write strategy. Let's just remind myself here, read, draw, and write. Got to read first. So Samantha ran 3,003 meters in seven days. If she ran the same distance each day, how far did Samantha run in three days? Okay, well, let's see. When we have these kinds of problems, I usually like to draw myself a tape diagram. Uh, let's see what our tape diagram might look like. Let's see. Well, I think I know what the hole is in this problem. The hole is the amount of mile of meters she ran in seven days. So that looks like 3,003 is sort of the hole of this problem. Let's see. And she ran those meters in seven days. Okay, so I'm going to divide this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days. And then what we really don't what we don't understand is exactly how much she did in any one of those days. But we do know it's the same distance each day. So this looks like a division problem to me, where we're going to take the whole and we're going to divide it into seven equal parts and find out what one of those pieces is. But in this problem, we don't really just want to know how much she ran in one of those pieces, one of those days. Because remember, the question was, how far did Samantha run in three days? So... I think what we actually need to do at the at the end is we're going to need to figure out this three days. We're going to need to figure that one out, right? Because we're interested in all three of those. So I think we're ready to go. We've done our draw part, and I think we're ready to do our calculation. Let's see. I'm going to set this up with our standard division algorithm. So I'm going to say we have 3,003, and we are dividing that in seven pieces. So as I go through my division, I, I always start with my largest units, and I say, let's see, could I divide 3,000s by 7 into 7 parts? And I can't do that. So effectively, I'm going uh, to combine those 3,000s. I'm going to turn, turn them into 30, into, uh, 30 hundreds. We don't, don't have any other hundreds, so let's con reconsider this as a problem in hundreds. If we had 30 hundreds and we divided by 7, how many could we get out of that in each of those 7 groups? Well, we could get 4 groups. Uh, 4 hundreds times 7 would be 28 hundreds. And we can do that subtraction. So let's see, 30 hundreds minus 28 hundreds would be 2 hundreds. And we're going to bring down our next unit. Our next unit is 0 tens. So now, really, if we look at this, we have, well, we used to think of this as 2 hundreds, but we can now think of it as 20 tens, right? Let's see, how many tens would we need would we multiply times seven and still fit in that twenty? Let's see. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one is too much, so I think we're gonna only be able to fit two tens. So two tens times seven is fourteen tens. And if we subtract fourteen tens from twenty tens, we will have six tens. And let's bring down our last unit. So now we have instead of six tens, we have really sixty ones, and we had three other ones, so sixty-three ones. We divided 63 ones by 7. How many ones would that be? Well, that fits really neatly because it looks to me like we have 9 ones times 7 will be 63 ones. And that will cause us to use up all of our ones, telling us that our remainder is 0 and our quotient is 429. 429, let's see. So this is what we get when we divide 3,003 divided by 7. So each one of these blocks up here, right here, is going to be 429. But remember, we are looking for three days worth of uh, her running. So let's see, we need to actually do one more step, which is that we need to take the number of meters she ran in one day, and then we either need to do repeated addition or multiplication to figure out how many she ran in three days. So if we do it this way, let's see, three times nine ones is 27. So we'll put the seven in the ones and the two in the tens. And our next step is the 3 times the 2 tens. Well, that would be 6 tens, plus 2 more would be 8 tens. There we go. And finally, 3 times 4 hundreds. 3 times 4 hundreds. 3 times 4 is 12 hundreds. So 12 hundreds. And so this, I think, is our answer. But 
we have to do our last piece, which is our write strategy, um, which would be to write a sentence. And I think our sentence would be something like this. Samantha ran 1,287 meters in three days. That would be the right part of our strategy. So this is the most difficult, I think, of the five problems in the homework set tonight. And I'm just going to do one of them so that you have a chance to challenge yourself with some of the other ones. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again next time on Mr. Kong Has Problems.